So this is more or less an update, quick update, and a thank you to all the subscribers that were, you know, asking questions and, and doing their due diligence. I don't have a team of people here in my, um, in my office. So you guys essentially are my team, my subscribers who help me, um, which I heavily thank. Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter, and today we're talking about the Threadripper 1950X. Now, screw you, I O M M U. Now, when I say that, it's a feature of the motherboard, this feature called I O M M U, which happens to allow you to have a virtual machine have dedicated graphics, something I'm never going to use. I mean, I'll have virtual machines, but I'm not going to have dedicated graphics for it. So if you go from auto to disabled, that fixes it and everything works normal. So I sent an email to Gigabyte to make the firmware have that turned off by default because apparently that feature is broken. It wasn't just me. MSI people having the same problem. Asus people having the same problem. Why it's turned on by default, obviously it's a broken feature because it should be able to stay on and work. So everything's good. And what I have in front of me here is, just so you're probably curious why I have a motherboard in. This is my old 3770K, 32 gigs of memory and the H100i cooler. So this has been running everything and doing all my content creation until I removed it. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just, you know, it'll go in another machine, of course. This will go in my um, Cosmos case. I wanted to leave the 1,000-watt power supply. Oh, and by the way, be before I forget, you don't have to have, uh, you don't have to use both 4-pin and 8-pin at the same time. You can just use one 8-pin, or if you want to use an 8-pin or 4-pin for the CPU power, but you don't need, you, you don't need both because I'm not doing it with both on mine and working perfectly fine. I do want to thank a subscriber called Pet May. He has, uh, he's the one who actually found, because I, I've given up on the Gigabyte board and it's already boxed up and, and, and put in a box, getting ready to ship and I already got the RMA going. However, Pet May um, continued to do research, which was nice. And he kept on asking me, did you return the board? And I go, it's all boxed up, ready to go. And he found in my thread the guy Martin who actually posted that information on how to fix it so you can boot to Windows 10 and everything works and if it wasn't for Pet May telling me that someone actually posted in my thread I would have never have known and I would have shipped back a perfectly working motherboard just because Gigabyte and every other manufacturer that makes the, X3, the X399 motherboard with that feature turned on and that's what breaks everything so I wanted to thank him. Thank you very much. His first name is Mark. Thank you very much for, for your, uh, for your uh, continued support and, and helping out. I just I have so much going on here with all the reviews and stuff that I do. I really want to thank you uh, a lot for, for you know, looking, up, looking out for my best interests, and now it's operational. That said, there are a lot more things to come. Um, content creation is ridiculous. Cinebench benchmarks. Um, I'm going to be doing gaming uh, tonight. Actually, I'm getting ready to. Um, I'm upgrading a machine right now. We're installing Windows 10. We'll do some gaming, and you'll see some videos on that uh, rather shortly. So this is more or less an update, quick update, and a thank you to all the subscribers that were, you know, asking questions and, and doing their due diligence. I don't have a team of people here in my. Um, in my office. So you guys essentially are my team, my subscribers who help me, um, which I heavily thank. So anyway, that said, um, you guys have a great day and look forward to more videos. They'll be coming really quickly now. I'm constantly going to be pounding these babies out. Take care and we'll see you next time. Creative Labs iRaw. Plug it in like like this. 
The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the rate array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,